combustion reactions. Combustion reactions. These reactions involve the burning of hydrocarbons. During combustion, oxygen is always one of the reactants. So a hydrocarbon is usually burned in the presence of oxygen. Okay. Hydrocarbons are compounds that contain only hydrogen and carbon. So the way a reaction, one of these reactions looks like is as follows. We have carbon and hydrogen. And we have some kind of numbers that represent the, the hydrocarbon. Okay, so this here would be our hydrocarbon. And it would only contain the atoms carbon and hydrogen. And some number of those two in combination. Now, hydrocarbons are burned always in the presence of oxygen. So another reactant is oxygen. Okay. So we're looking at the reactant. So, always a combustion reaction start with the following two reactants. Some kind of a hydrocarbon burned in the presence of oxygen. Okay, and that's our hint to identify combustion reactions. So, let's look at two types of combustion reactions. Okay, two types complete combustion and an incomplete combustion. Okay, complete combustion is when the hydrocarbon is burned in plenty of oxygen. So there is a very good supply of oxygen present uh, during a complete combustion. Now, there are only two products in the complete combustion. Okay, and those are carbon dioxide and water. Remember, in a complete combustion, there are only two products Okay, for complete combustion. In an incomplete combustion is when the amount of oxygen is limited, so there's not enough oxygen. But remember, the reactants can be the same. Okay, the reactants are the same. Uh, and we saw that in the previous slide. Okay. But now the only difference is if the equation was to say in a good supply of oxygen, our products are going to be carbon dioxide and water. But if it says that it's going to be in a poor supply of oxygen, well, then we have toxic byproducts okay, in the form of carbon monoxide and carbon soot. Okay. So carbon dioxide and water are produced as usual, always. Okay. So these always, and as we just said here, carbon monoxide and carbon, okay? So these are the, um, the differences between a complete combustion reaction and an incomplete combustion reaction. So let's look at a couple of examples between the two, okay? We're gonna burn the same hydrocarbon in both of our examples. Okay. So we're gonna write a balanced chemical equation for the complete combustion of methane. Okay, methane, as I've stated there, is CH4. And remember all combustion reactions, some kind of a hydrocarbon burned in oxygen. Okay, always, always, always. And because it is a complete combustion. What are the final products? Carbon dioxide and water, always. Okay, so you don't have to do any rearranging of the atoms, okay? If you know that it's a complete combustion, then you know that it's gonna be CO2 and H2O, always, okay? In combustion, so always in combustion. And I know we said complete and incomplete, but we're going to see it with the next example. And the last thing that's left is to balance the equation. Okay. We're going to have to balance the equation. So that's the last step. Now we're going to write a balanced chemical reaction for the incomplete combustion of again, the same compound. Okay. So we have here CH4 and O2. Notice how there is no difference. The only difference will be in the final products. And we said 
that this is always in combustion, in any type of combustion, okay? In any type of combustion, always carbon dioxide and water. But one more or two more additional byproducts, which are toxic byproducts, is carbon uh, monoxide and carbon, okay? So these, okay, only in incomplete, okay? So those are only in incomplete. These are in all combustion. And we're talking about both types, okay? So both types of combustion will have carbon dioxide and water being produced and carbon monoxide and carbon only in incomplete um, combustion reactions. And the last step that's left is to balance these equations. And usually the incomplete combustion reactions tend to be a little trickier when balancing. So be real careful when balancing um, equations for incomplete reactions. Okay. So let's uh, recap here, okay, between the two. We have complete combustion, incomplete combustion, okay, products, okay, and reactants. So let's look at the products. Products, some kind of a hydrocarbon burned in the presence of oxygen, always, okay? So always, notice, and now the rest of it, okay? So regardless of whether it's complete or incomplete, those are the products. And again, in, in, in the place of N and M, those just represent, right, just any type of number that represents whatever that hydrocarbon is. Okay, we could see a hydrocarbon like C2H4, uh, C2, let's say H8. We might see a, a various number uh, of um, you, uh, various numbers used, but it will always be in the presence of oxygen. Okay, and in terms of reactants, well, water is one of them. Carbon dioxide is another one. Okay, but here's where the difference between the two reaction types occurs. In an incomplete combustion, we're going to add carbon monoxide and carbon, okay? So notice here, this part, only in incomplete combustion, okay? But water and carbon dioxide in both types of um, combustion reactions, okay? And obviously the last step that would be involved would be to balance the two equations.